hey everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on another video i hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today we're going to be chatting about some juicy amazing fragrances that i think you guys need to hear about so definitely stay tuned get yourself something to drink get comfy cozy because you know i like to blab on and on about fragrances and if you are new to my channel my name is karina waldron and i would absolutely love it if you subscribe become a part of our wonderful youtube family because why not we're kind of fun over here and also turn your post notifications on if you haven't already so that you are notified every single time i upload a video here on youtube and without further ado let's get into it so today's video is all about malin and getz i'm so excited to be partnering up with the brand for this video i'll be talking about dark rum as well as some other stunning fragrances that they have to offer i've already spoken about leather which is part of my collection i absolutely love it especially for fall and winter but there are a few more i want to touch on and there is one particular scent that is pretty much the star of the show so if you're not familiar with the brand they were founded in 2004 in New York so the founders really wanted to create uh, products that had modern twist minimalistic and a very like uncomplicated approach to them which i can definitely appreciate and each fragrance in the collection is designed for everyday wear and completely unisex so anyone can wear them and feel absolutely amazing so within their fragrances they tend to pair opposite yet complementary notes to offer balance and dynamic sensory experience here is the star of the show this beauty over here this is called Called dark rum and I was so excited to be able to play around with this fragrance because it was one that I was actually eyeing since I got leather I mean just the name alone captivates me you guys know that I love a spicy warm scent and when I heard dark rum I was like oh I need that one in my life and I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of that box this is what it looks like Again, that minimalistic approach, and I love that every single detail you need to know about the fragrance is literally on this box over here. I will say also that this is vegan and cruelty-free, which is pretty awesome. And then when you open it up, just like so, here is that bottle. Again, that very minimalistic approach and it's very pretty it looks gorgeous on the vanity because it doesn't take away from anything and it's not too extravagant i actually really really like it and same with the box the bottle actually has all of the information that you need which is something that the brand really wanted that you can place this on your vanity and you know exactly what you're getting it's right there you don't have to go looking for any information love that so dark rum is an elder parfum and the notes on this one so we have top notes we have bergamot plum anise in the mid we have leather rum and vanilla i'm so happy to see vanilla in this fragrance and then in the base we have patchouli amber and milk would never think to add milk but when i tell you it works it works so it is my scent of the day it's what i'm wearing i'm also going to spray it on a piece of paper so you guys can see that atomizer in action right there so you do get quite a bit of fragrance spraying out of this atomizer now let me tell you guys how i feel and what i think this smells like okay because it's going to kind of surprise you like it surprised me to me, this scent is so wearable. I thought it was going to be a little bit dark and a little too leaning towards the masculine side, but I want to say this is completely unisex. Anyone can wear this, and it has this very beautiful spiciness to it. It is definitely on the warm side, but there is a burst of freshness in this scent that makes it so wearable and i feel like you can wear this pretty much all year round it doesn't matter the time of the day the occasion it's just a fragrance that you can easily pick up and put on yourself especially if you like something with a boozy background when you open this fragrance up it smells like a burst of fresh air it's really fresh that bergamot's really gonna hit you and then 
what you're going to get is that beautiful rum. I love that it's not overly done. It's not overly boozy. It's actually nicely balanced. So you get little hits of everything very softly. And I think that milk that they added into this, that milk note really balanced all of those strongs. Because we have rum, we have patchouli, we have some really deep scents in here. We have leather also. But the milk, I think, toned things down and made this fragrance super approachable with a very nice boozy quality without it being too overdone. So I can honestly say my ladies that are a little bit afraid of maybe the leather note or the rum note and think it's going to lean a little too heavily um, boozy or too leathery, it is not. It is so blended nicely. I really, really like that it's not overdone and it has a fresh quality. Like at the same time when I smell this, I'm getting a bit of a summer vibe, like almost like a coconutty vibe, even though there is no coconut in here. But I get this like summery vibe. It almost, like when I close my eyes, it's almost like a vacation vibe in a bottle. It really is. It's not exactly what I expected. It's not super deep and i love that it's not like that because i feel very comfortable wearing this throughout the day or evening for or even for an evening out i feel like it's so wearable and very easy to put on and feel great so i will say you have to like a little bit of that rum note that booziness in a fragrance because you will pick it up in the background but again it's very soft i feel like this is a great introduction to those of you who have never tried a scent with like rum this is a great great introduction because it's done right it so this fragrance dark rum is actually inspired by the old world bay rum which sailors used to use when traveling to the caribbean and later became really popularized in barber shops this is a more modern approach to the dark rum type of scent because again it's not your usual very deep heavy scent it's actually very approachable and just beautiful and light at the same time with a mix of spiciness and darkness in there it's really cool to see these different contrasts within the fragrance again i have it on i have been testing it out but i just wanted to spray it on paper to show you guys now i don't find that this is super linear i find that this really does develop um, on the skin so in the opening it's more fresh it's more of that brightness from that like bergamot um, you do get a little of that plum in the opening also that adds to the booziness but it really does subside in the dry down and you get this very I have it on my hand too you get this creamy a little boozy a little fresh scent like it smells clean but with more spice to it and a little bit more depth to it it is a beautiful beautiful take on a scent i love that the leather note is very gentle it's not too harsh and everything is really well blended like i said so great option for those of you who are afraid of those daring notes but definitely want to plunge in and give it a try i would absolutely recommend this one and this scent along with the other scents that they carry within the line can be layered so you can really create your own concoction and make up your own signature scent so it's really cool that you can layer them together in my experience this is definitely a long lasting scent i get a good eight plus hours out of this fragrance i spray it on my skin as well as on my clothes you guys know that i love to spray fragrances on my clothes and i definitely get a long lasting power with this scent the sillage is really great in the first three hours and then it becomes a little bit closer to the skin but it's going to last all day long i say if you want the sillage to be a little louder and longer lasting definitely apply it to your clothes but if you love the fragrance to be a little bit closer to the skin, apply it in your regular areas of your skin and you're good to go. But it's definitely 
a long lasting kind of like intoxicating scent you will leave a gorgeous trail wherever you're going because it does have that very beautiful sillage in the first couple of hours and if you fall in love with this scent it comes in different forms so it comes in a candle it comes in a perfume oil and also body care products so you can really layer this fragrance all the way um, if you really want to but it does come in amazing different forms so i also received this discovery set which comes with six different fragrances they are two mil and i love when brands offer this set because you can really play around with the different fragrances that they offer and see which ones are your favorite before splurging on a full bottle so this is a really cool one i would definitely link it down below and i'm going to quickly touch up on some of the scents over here that they have to offer so there is bergamot cannabis dark rum which we just talked about and that one is definitely a must okay just get it just get it and then there is leather stem and vetiver so leather i already own it's downstairs in my filming room i'm actually in my room uh, filming um and i really really love that one i've talked about it already on my channel i think it's a beautiful leather scent that is just stunning for fall and winter especially winter time it just really warms up on, on your skin so beautifully it's like a mix of leathery and smoky it is just stunning so the other ones are actually pretty new to me i am going to test them out right in front of you guys and give you guys a little bit of a first impression and just so you guys can see this is what the set looks like over here so i'm going to go ahead and start off with a scent called stem and just going to spray that on there let that dry down so oh i could already smell it oh mmm this one to me is definitely floral it's a soft gentle floral fragrance it smells clean and just kind of pure and a little musky like it smells like clean skin oh yeah it's kind of fresh but like everything is so soft like very very soft I can easily see someone wearing this as a signature scent. It's a non-offensive. It's so gentle. I'm getting a little bit of jasmine, um, some greenness in here, but it's very soft, like very, very subtle. Almost like if I picked up a bouquet of wet flowers, almost. That's what I'm getting. But I'm definitely getting a bit of a musky vibe. Slightly, slightly powdery, slightly powdery. But ultimately, it just smells like you literally took a shower, your skin is fresh and clean, and you put some like floral scented cream on your skin. This puts a smile on my face. This one is beautiful. So the next one that I have is Vetiver, and I'm going to go ahead and spray that on my paper. Oh, oh, this is green. Okay, this is definitely green. Mmm. So this is a, it smells like green, a little woody also. Slightly spicy from a green note that I'm getting in here. Not like peppery spicy. To me, it's more of a spice coming from some kind of green note. It's fresh. It's very airy. But ultimately, I'm getting green and woodsy kind of earthy tones from this fragrance oh yeah it's pretty it and, and i can definitely see these fragrances layering beautifully together because everything is really blended nicely that you can really mix and match and create your own type of magic with these scents this is if you love your green tones something earthy something woody this is a great scent it has a little bit more depth and character it's a little it's it's a lot louder than stem i want to say oh i can definitely pull this off oh yeah next up i have cannabis which i'm very curious to see how this one is going to smell okay definitely green like absolutely green almost like herbal type of deal in this fragrance 
Yeah, so it has a little bit of an aromatic quality, but I'm still, as I smell this, um, as it's drying down, I'm getting a bit of a woody vibe also in the background. It could be like a soft um, sandalwood type of deal, but I am getting something a little slightly woody, but like very soft, but it's definitely an aromatic kind of scent. I... It, it's actually pretty nice, but I would definitely layer this with another fragrance, just me as my personal taste. But if you love a little bit more green tones, slightly sandalwoody, a little bit of an aromatic vibe, this is a great option. And all of them are not too loud. They're not too loud. And then the next one that I have is Bergamot, and I love me some of this in my fragrances, especially in the opening. It just gives that burst, right? So let me smell this one. Oh, yeah, this is summertime vibes right here. Summer and spring. It's fresh, it's airy, it's uplifting type of scent. Mmm, freshness. All I'm getting is freshness in this one. Getting a little bit of green tones in it also. Not really aquatic, but it kind of reminds me of the water when I smell this one. I don't know why. Maybe I'm thinking like beach, summertime, you know what I mean? But it reminds me of the water. Getting a little bit of a salty vibe, but ultimately it's a bright fresh, airy, kind of happy scent, like mood uplifting type of scent. Ooh, these fragrances definitely develop. They really develop, which I love. I love fragrances that kind of take you on a roller coaster. It's not just going to be one single scent. It really kind of becomes something special because as you smell them, they start to slowly shift and change into that base. But that bergamot is carried throughout since I sprayed it, for sure. Out of all the ones that I've sampled, uh, bergamot and stem are definitely ones that I'm going to be adding to my collection. They're gorgeous. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me on another one. I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Definitely leave it down below. I want to know, have you tried any scents from the brand? Which ones are your favorite or which ones you are eyeing right now? I will link everything in the description box as I always do. So check out the links there and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao!